What is up, everyone? I hope everyone's doing good. This is going to be an update on some of the older phones I own. I did a video on this a while back, and I came across them again in a box. I had a box here. I got all the batteries, and they're, they're great phones at the time. And I'm just sitting here on my balcony, and I said, you know what? Let me pop off one more video. Someone said about my camera being a little blurry. I went back. I looked at the video, the original video. I didn't see it too bad. Um, I did go into settings, and I found uh, the blur and something was off. So that could have been doing it. Uh, because sometimes this phone, this LG, this is an LG, what I've been using for the last two years is an L, three years actually, LG V60, which they don't make no more, that I've been using, so a pocket sometimes changes things, so I hope this video is clear anyway. Anyway, in no special order, um, these are some phones that were given to me, some of them, and some of them I had. This was given to me. It's kind of like the Evo HTC. It's not the Evo, though. It's not the 3D one. Not that I know anyway. But it's cool to have in the collection. It had a kickstand in there at the time that would come out, I think. Yeah, and you could have it on a kickstand type of thing when you're looking at videos and stuff. Anyway, real cool. I love HTC. It was a love and hate relationship with me with them, but I love them. Uh, I don't know, this type of phone was out back then, uh, early uh, 2000s, late 90s. Everybody had these handheld things when phones were starting to come out. Then they had a bigger one. They came with these funky cases you could put on you. This was given to me. I don't even know what kind of phone it is. Maybe you guys know what phone it is. And uh, this is another uh, funky phone. Remember with the keyboard? Keyboards, texting, da 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 da. And it, you know, it had a camera. It's LG. I love LG. That's that's one of my main. Uh, I went from LG phones. I mean. I went from, yeah, LG, Samsung, back to LG, back to Samsung, HTC, back to Samsung, back to HTC, back to LG. Anyway, um, I never had one of these, actually. This was given to me. It's a cool phone, though. Very cool. Probably remember a lot of people. Look at the camera on this sucker. Unbelievable. I just took a Benadryl because the allergies are just crazy. We're not getting the rain. It's like a hazy sky, no rain. Okay, so I covered that one. This was a phone that I used to use for a backup if something went wrong with my better phone. It's a uh, i776. Small little Nextel, you know, like a Boost Mobile thing going on there. The... The main phone I had years ago, when I thought I was on, like, the high of highs, was when I got this 870. I still got it, though, to show you how much I love it. I was working for the snow removal at the time, and everybody had them there, and I had no choice but to get it. It, it was, like, kind of part of the job, but it was, like, the coolest thing. I thought I was James Bond with this thing. This thing has... a. Uh, MP3 player at the time was like a hot thing. Wow, the MP3, a two megapixel camera. It had this button you could flick it open, antenna on it. And I'm going to tell you something. At the time, okay, at the time, this thing took videos that were just endless. I don't know what the heck was in it, the chip or whatever. It's Everything's still in the phone. I never took nothing out other than the batteries in there. And you could take videos, like real long videos, in pretty good quality for for the small phone. But you didn't have, you could text, talk. The talking on it was awesome because the speaker on the Nextel was second to none. It was just phenomenal speaker. 
that's why I held on to it so long. And uh, they were noted for their speakers, the uh, Molarola next town. And then you had the walkie-talkie, which was free if anyone had a walkie-talkie. And I love this phone. I, I got the case. The case for it still was this clear case. And I just absolutely love the phone. It's, uh, wait a minute, there's another phone. Oh, yeah, here it is. That took that place of it was the i80. I'm sure a lot of people remember this one. Also had that funky push button. Uh, Nextel. There was actually another one that uh, that had some funky stuff going on too that I wanted, but I wound up getting this one as a trade-in for the military one. I don't know why I got rid of that one. I should have kept that one. And I guess I, I was looking for a more refined look, but the military one, I traded someone for this one at the time because it's supposed to have a better camera or something. But these were my go-to... This phone was with me through a lot. And I absolutely love this phone. I thought there just couldn't be a better phone than this. But then the smartphones came around. And this is actually, I could work it. I'm signed out. Somehow I signed myself out. I could still work this phone. This is actually my backup phone in case my LG goes down. Somehow I signed myself out, but it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal because I can sign myself in with my passcode and get this up and running and make videos with. This is the HTC 10, and I was on a Sprint network. Actually, I'm on uh, T-Mobile, took it over now, unfortunately. I, I like T-Mobile. It's not bad, but the only thing with T-Mobile is I used to turn my phones in, and if they were in good condition, which they always were because I had cases, I would get another phone and, you know, move along a year and a half. Now they want you to buy it, but they do have some kind of leasing thing, so I'm going to try that too. But this is a great, I love HTC, the weather app on it. It was geeky, but, you know, you had a really, it was a love and hate relationship I had with the phone. But it, it really is a nice phone. It was snappy, very responsive. You could, the buttons on it, man, are like, you could feel a vibration when you tap the buttons on it. But I'm on Wi-Fi right now because I'm home. And this thing, some reason, was connecting until I, I guess because I changed my passcodes and everything, passwords. And it's not connecting. But all I would have to do is sign in. It's asking me to sign in. And I could fix that problem. But anyway, I want to show these old phones, and uh, if anyone remembers them, comment on it. You know, I was a big HTC lover. It's the HTC 10. This is the last one they made. What happened with them was Google bought them, but from what I was told, Google, uh, uh, HTC is coming out with a phone later this year. That's what I heard. And I would love to check it out. The only thing with the HTC, what I didn't like, and I don't know why, was when you are making a video, okay, and want to upload it, say you want to upload it to YouTube, instead of be able to talk the title in quick and easy, it wouldn't let you. You would have to type it in. So that was my only gripe, but... Other than that, the camera and the phone was great. I love a metal phone. It was just cool. And I miss HTCs with what they were going to do next and all that good stuff. Anyway, I just thought I'd show these old phones. Another old HTC. My beloved freaking... You see how I like metal uh, aluminum phones? This had a case on it, so it's fairly in still good condition, this 870. So, yeah, I'm going to end it here. Anyone knows any about these phones or seen them? I'm sure you did over the years or had them. I just thought I'd do a quick update on that. I got this one, too. Fantastic phone. 880. Anyway, I'm out of here. Peace out, everyone. Have a good evening.